Well, come back to Let's Play Digimon World Next Order. Man, I feel like, I mean, I said this last time I did a record a session, which was... Was it yesterday or the day before? Let me check. Uh, day before. <coughs> we got a far Rune Factory, Oceans and, you know, it's like falling behind on recording, so it's like constant cold sessions. It's annoying. Digimon World. Next order. But it's mostly due to this damn cough. We got antibiotics for it, but it's still lingering. 27, but it's now the 4th of June. So it was like quite a while ago then. Oh. 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 I forgot to look Oh, there's Cedramon over there. I forgot to look up where to find the fish I need. That's annoying. Hey, hey, you, you look like a pretty good fisherman. Though you can only catch Digifry, it seems. I'm Cedramon. I want to open a fishing hole in the city, right? Fish I'm raising a stock with our nearly now. That's where an awesome fisherman like you got to. I want you to catch me a lunch fish. I need some Digifry. You can get that easy. Nope. Digifry on that Digifry. What do you say? Will you help me? Well, I can them for me. Alright, let me tell you those fish I need to get. Just in case. You could at least tell us where to find them. Digifry, Digifry on the Digifry. What do each one do? Thanks in advance. I need to try to get the tooth card for my fish at home. Please catch some bummy. What did uh, Red Mon eat? Get your card. So, um, let me check. There's only the one fishing spot. There are all the fishing spots in Mod Cape, but it's the only one on the screen. I'll try once. And if it's just a digifry, then I'm going to another mission. So no. Fishing sucks. Like, it takes forever, and you know, it's kind of luck based on what you get. If you even get anything. Yeah, enough of a freaking digifry as far as the eye can see. No fishing spots around here. Let's go all the way around. Wow, we could go the other way, but you know. That way be more dangerous. We'd have to go through the saber mob. Which I'd rather not. If, you know, possible to just do it. I'm gonna talk to those two unless I'm prepared. Really? Well, bring it on, you little bastards. You picked the wrong Digimon to pick a fight. You better die! Shut up, boss. I mean, what rookie level Digimon would look at two Megas, even though they're very underpowered Megas? But Megas nonetheless, you'd be like, hey, yeah, yeah, no, I'm a fight now. I wonder if the Seedramon around here can be defeated. It's the Seedramon tended to drop fish. I mean, those Demi Devimon drop fish as well. Seedramon would probably have a better chance of dropping the kind of fish.
Well, let's give it a shot there as a see them all over there. Can't see him on the screen just yet, but he's there. There he is. Yeah, he's gonna be a tougher opponent. I think if I'm able to use my finishes, he should be able to handle him. I finally get to see the Ice Wolf Claw. Which is a weird name considering you launch missiles. It's got nothing to do with your claw. Man, you guys have trash MP. They should finish him. Cherry Bull. Oh, nice. oh, and we're getting stats. Oh, nice. So, and we got Digicon. That's one of the things we need. That's nice. So, even if you are mega level, you can get still get some stats from some of these lower levels if your stats are that pitifully weak, which they really shouldn't be when you're mega level. But it's just, you know, when you uh, did evolve naturally to Mega Level, I haven't really put any efforts. Yeah. Suppose this would be like the equivalent of, you know, using Digivolution items. But I'm not sure, because I'm not sure if Digivolution items increase lifespan or not. Just thinking, you know, uh, uh, there's no fish in the spot here. Uh, gotta go through there. Oh shit, that means we have to fight for some seed on. But hey, they might drop some useful stuff. We might not even need to do anything. Then I was just thinking, like, in the original Digimon world, I think if you'd use a digital illusion item, it wouldn't increase the lifespan. If I recall. I don't think it really increased that. I'm not sure I haven't played the original in. Oh god. These seeds are a lot tougher than the seed mom we fought before coming. Oh shit. I need to invest in medium recovery squares. Yeah, we're not ready for this place. Even though we're freaking mega levels. Crazy. We need to rely on finishes just to be a freaking seed or stick. Getting wrecked. It just takes way too long to build up. I think uh, Metal C. Uh, Metal Rumon is probably gonna get into that this fight. Splash? Waterfall? Now in the original Digimon world, you couldn't learn skills from battles unless it was a skill your current Digimon could learn. Then again, I think Metal Garumon might be able to use
Alright, have I got a bandage? I don't. Shit. I can probably buy one. Let's, uh, have I... Yeah, I've got all the mounts. Alright, and there's also Cubimon, so I can probably just buy the Cubimon. I learned the art of medicine. Now I'm really hoping that Digimon will bring a uh, you uh, will bring a Digimon who wants to get a doctor there. I forgot I haven't talked to you since you set up this place. How about I buy some medicine? How about four of them just in case? Right, let's, you know, stick to knife plays instead, you know. <laughs> Bit safer. You know, I mean, they are towards the end of the lifespan. They're mega levels, but you know, usually. Oh wait, I've got the tent now, haven't I? So I can just do that. But you know, usually, as I was saying, I would just you know do fishing at the end <coughs> of a Digimon lifespan, not you know. You know, basically once they've accomplished all they can accomplish. But my Digimon are still, you know, so underpowered that it feels kind of a waste to do fishing. But fishing is what we must do. Why did it have to be fish? Yeah, it's crazy though, isn't it? War Greymon and Metal Groomer struggle to defeat a freaking sea dragon. That's just crazy. They're so underpowered. Oh, we got the Digicarb. That's the one that Renamon needed, right? Oh, wrong button. Alright, wrong folder. Yeah, Digicarb. We can get Renamon now. You know, I'm also starting to think maybe Chapter 1 is longer than I thought. I think we're probably going to have to fight that machine gun on again. I think it's like, yeah, you know, let's have two boss fights with Machine Demon in one chat. Free if you include the tutorial intro. It's a bit excessive if you ask me. Also, while I'm here, let me just check. Yeah, 10, so I'll make sure to do that as well. If I can remember to. Oh, Lord Talmon. Ah, uh, a bitch cop. 
Oh, my, you've bought it. Oh, kind human eye. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Yes, now I can make the ultimate dish. Lord Talmon would surely be pleased if I hurry I can hold my banquet tonight. Oh, I'm joining the city. So stupid. <laughs> It's like, you could have spent that time, you know, looking for the fish yourself. Oh yeah, and some random stranger to do it for you. You know, considering how much I struggle against that seed them on, fighting these two would basically be, you know, a death sentence. There's no way we'd be able to handle that. Well, it was the other way, wasn't it? That had the, uh, fishing hole spots. Well, no fishing hole. It's what thing you can just fish out. Thinking of the fishing holes that, you know, uh, Caesar sets up when he wants to see. Which he will not do until we are done with his task. Don't fit. I'm not gonna talk to Paldemon. Because I don't think we can really do anything with him yet. I think we gotta get Grab Liam on to join the city first, which we can't do until we get through this damn drop chapter. Again, I mixed up a freaking Prodigy Zero, because they call chapters drops in all games. In that game, I should say. The other games in the series that I've played didn't have them called drops. Ah! That's a different one, but it's not the one I'm after. Only use this tent once here because if we use it another time, it will break. That is the unfortunate size to tents in this game. They're not very durable. Well, they get more durable as you upgrade them. Like by uh, getting upgrades from the item shop so Greymon can do that, but you know, that's still a ways away. Don't get materials for that. Oh, we got a tamer level, nice. It's like, yeah, we got a tamer level right there. I could have used that to probably, you know, uh, get the camper type upgrades. But now that I see that we're like seven, let's see. Yeah, that'd be nice to have. Um, what was the other one? Uh, where was it? Ah, yeah, that's way too long. What was the inherited one though? Oh, that is the inherited one. Go with that. Well? Oh no. What was that? Oh, well, it glitched, but then it unglitched. It's like I clicked the fish, but it wasn't fishing, and then it's just like, okay, she's not gonna fish. Weird glitch. You're doing it again. What's up with this glitch? These waters are cursed. It's like she's. It's like it's going with the length. That it usually takes to do the fishing, but it doesn't do the fishing. Weird. Ah! There's only Digifry waters. So Digicrucian needs. Yeah, 
There's too much deep fry in these your waters and not enough variety of other fish. They are far too common. They are too successful. Oh, no. One more. The Digifry are basically magic off. What a waste of my time. And a waste of my autopilots. Go back, Shiki, I have good news. Yes, you know. Red Demoner's come back to Tokyo. He started selling food items. Why is there always mail? If, I mean, I don't know, if this one is kind of, like, do, do they have gender? Do they have sex? As in, you know, uh, you know, gender, you know, male, female, whatever. It, it's weird, you know, because you could have, like, a good smell like, freaking angel or something. You'd probably be like, yeah, that's a guy. Nineteen. Like, I'm not sure if Digimon has ever called a Digimon female, ever. You always refer to them as if they're male. I wonder if it's a translation thing. Maybe it's gender neutral. Yeah, that's Angemon. Argamon. Right, yeah, he loves fishing. Unfortunately, I don't. Yeah, well, get it. Just chill out. You're in my way of getting your food. Oh, god damn, they're so loud. This is one of the drawbacks of having these DLC on eggs. They're very, very loud when they're hungry. And they have very large appetites. I can't remember if I've got anything being upgraded, honestly. Let's store this and that and that. Pick up some daily supplies. No, oh, the pilots, unfortunately, it seems. Hey, I'm gonna live here too. It's pretty cool if everyone's so helpful. Hey, don't treat me like a kid. Everyone thinks I'm a rookie, but I'm not. Well, you are a rookie, though. So what stage am I at? I, I, I don't really know. I, in other words, let's make it shout on stage. Never mind the small stuff. Well, like you. Hey, don't call me Sean. Let's be friends, okay? I can sing as loud as I want here, right? I can't wait for everyone to hear me sing. Oh, gosh. It's <laughs> just... Well, it, w it was the previous part where Shao was talking, right? It's like... Oh, I can't imagine him singing with that voice. It's just... Oof! You know, it's obviously, a, you know, an adult's voice acting, but, you know, they're doing it in that way where it's like, it's supposed to be a kid. It's like, I feel more often than not, <laughs> The voice acting like that is really cool. I am playing a game called uh, what was it called? Uh, was it Tales of Graces F or some shit like that? I can't remember. And I just couldn't. <laughs> it's like I went into it, you know, open-minded, you know, just like I knew nothing of the game. I was playing it and. 
the freaking intro of the game where they're all kids and obnoxious little bastards. Well, mostly just the protagonist who's an obnoxious little twat. You know that classic, I'm rebellious, but you dead, and you're pretty wrong. And I'm not sure if there was an option to change the Japanese voice acting, but I imagine it would still be the same level of obnoxious character. It's like, you, how, why would you start a game with that? It's really off-putting, because it's just like, these, these characters are just, eh. And then you get a flash forward, right, after your shit's hit the fan, it's like, time skip. And you get the protagonist after he's been, like, disciplined and trained. And he goes from, Spring of game, get you whatever I want to. I'm very detached and have no emotions now. It's just like, okay, I'll do this and that. It's like, just play. Maybe the game gets better, but I just couldn't play it past that point. Because it's just like, I have no interest in these characters on this world. Because everyone... It, it, it reminds me of uh, Final Fantasy XII. You know, Final Fantasy XII has its fans and stuff, but I just couldn't get into it. The world is kind of boring. I mean, it looks nice, but that's it. It looks visually nice, but the characters in the world are about as interesting as a character or something, you know? It's like, other than that guy who I suppose is like kind of inspired by Han Solo or whatever, other than him, everyone else had no life to them. Everyone just seemed dead inside. It's really off-putting. And I didn't really like the different gameplay style compared to Final Fantasy X that I played before. It's, you know, it was more of uh, uh, what's the word? It wasn't turn-based, you know. It was like... I can't think of what the word is for that type of RPG, but you get the idea. I just couldn't get used to it and found the story and the characters to be pretty bland. So was I upgrading anything? I guess not. You can upgrade the warehouse, the lander and the builder. What the hell does that even mean, increased motivation? Does that just mean they'll do things faster? Uh, we need Digi Silver and Lights. We need some acid. Yeah, let's go with that. Be nice if Ferdramon didn't charge his arm and a leg. Just to travel anywhere in this world. Focus on training for our 10 sessions so we can get that arena challenge clear. And also increase our wisdom a bit. Because it's very lacking. Wait for the hour to pass. Speed is also pretty crap, but I mean, that's always been the case. It's like I'm including my main let's play in that when I see it. Speed is the hardest stat to raise. That 3 or 4, I wasn't counting. Well, it was, but it wasn't partially. You guys eat too much. I should really have been paying attention to how many times we trained because I completely lost track. Might as well just keep in, uh, training throughout the day. Visit Arena tomorrow. Yes! 
始めよっかでれれよし勝利だ We got any、uh, foods that boost wisdom? That's MP and strength. This is that man. We're low on meat, guys. Grey man, you eat far too much. Exit so he can get Quagamon to appear. The other one.、Uh, there is radish, there's the speed. Yeah, it's only the onions. That give the boost to this、uh, one. Notice at this time of day when they eat. They don't eat nearly as much, or rather, they don't need to. Well, at least now their wisdom is finally gonna be in the valley. Everything is more balanced. And they're gonna be angry the second they wake up. Balance my ass, where's my food? They're gonna block my way. Give us more to eat. And it wasn't the previous evolution when they compatible sleep mates. What happens? It's like they start out incompatible sleep mates with Gabmon and Ogmon. Makes sense. Because Gabmon likes the night and Ogmon likes the day. So, you know. Then it just abruptly changes in their evolutions and then in the final mega levels they go back to the reverse. It's weird. Yeah, they both like me. To confirm, you know, because I was curious, maybe. Because, you know, it would be their favorite, because that's all they've eaten, you know, for the most part. But sometimes it does, you know, change with the evolutions. They'll still have it as their favorite, but it wouldn't be their preference, necessarily. Still no, uh,. Autopilot, so we'll see. Um, let's just check this again. Yeah, the description is all we need. Trouble is, I'm not sure where to find it. Always good to go get your tent fixed before it breaks, because if it breaks, you have to pay him. Anything I can sell?
Uh, I'll sell some of these. Sell that, why not? Oh my god, he charged 800 for a freaking autopilot and extortionist bastards. Yeah, I might as well go say hi to Renamon while we're here. Shiggy, for now on, I am actor of Beck and Gold. I have filled my dream of cooking in the city. Do come and dry my food sometime. So I could have done that earlier, but you know, I don't have a lot of money. I was just thinking of Atom on that. Like, he'd be good to have in the city right now, you know? Just then I could invest in the stock market. Granted, early on it's kind of shit, but, you know, it gets a bit better over time, but by that point, you're able to, you know, just defeat a lot of these ones to get money anyway. Man, if only if we had something like loads of monsters in this one world. Where you could do that trick where you can trade items with him to get items that you can sell for like 2,000 bits. It's very easy to do. Let's actually try over here. You know what I find interesting about Bonamon? That he mentioned Seedmon after all, right? Like, there are a lot of. Oh, oh we, we got this is quite nice. But you know, it feels weird because you think he talked more about Ala Digimon in the general area than Ogmon is, because he's such a fanboy for him, you know? Like, what the hell, man? You're skipping over all the Digimon freaking Ogmon? We can't even get him until chapter 2. And we have to get at least two other Digimon before we can even get them. Stupid. I mean, if anything, you should be acknowledging uh, Hackmon because, you know, we need to get Hackmon for Angemon. And he's mentioned Angemon. So what the hell? The ordering of the information makes no sense. Blended into the scenery. Also, I forgot to check, didn't I? Yeah, you can learn these moves. Hail Spears, Flash. That's well, even though it's quite costly. Shame it takes forever to get anywhere in this world, you know? It takes half a freaking year just to get to one location. The box lily symbolizes an instance, this flower is delicate and slightly unique blossom. Well, they weren't really fatigued at all, but it's good. One of those Digistocks. I will always call them Digimushrooms. Okay, Layla Prentice, looks like you're done with your 10 sessions. I like your attitude. Way to go. So, your next session. What's with that face? What? Oh, you want to roll? Let me think. Okay, okay. Well done. Excellent. Good job. Sorry, really, we'll get compensation for sure. Yeah. Don't know why I'm giving him a deep voice, because... I guess they couldn't get his voice actor in this game or something, I don't know. But I've heard his uh, voice actor and, you know, uh, no, voice actress, I should say, I think it was a woman. Yeah, it was definitely did not have a deep voice, even when he was mega level. Hey, Vivi, don't go soft on my friends, the Tamers Road is hard. 
Okay, okay, as I was saying, next session. Drum roll, please. Ta da! Yes! Set to collect 30 Digitogs. Well, I probably already accomplished that. Demons have gone to collect food so they can keep their partners vegetables. Well, at off with you, yeah! Get some digistocks, we collect 30 digistocks, bring them to me. Just remember, treat them as you want to be treated yourself. Actually, that probably doesn't apply here. Just get them. Oh, I don't actually. I have to get five more. Um. I went. Oh, there it is. Like, sometimes you can't tell where something is. They'd be like, hey, there's something nearby. It's like, where? Meow. Why do they sound like cats? And what can we get from this machine? Yeah, we can buy bandages from it. And the order price are extortionate prices. Even worse than wrecking Tentamuff price. You know, if only if upgrading the item shop would also decrease the price. But now it just adds a new icon. You're gonna be hungry pretty soon. At least with a tent we can kind of save on materials to an extent. They will still require a lot to eat though. Well, maybe not. They're reasonable for once. I wonder if I need to recruit anyone else I'll be seeing on at this point. To advance the story. Oh hey, you got some Digifry Digi Creature Name Digicard. Great, see lucky little news are good oh good stuff. Now I can open up the vision all I've all one. Alright now, thank you for catching all those fish dickies. Fisherman right, you can make good use of it, then. Come hang out once I've opened my vision all the now they have all kinds of special moves. So see the one going to the Well, haven't advanced yet. I kind of just want to, you know, auto files. You know, I'm going to do that. Okay. Even though it's a bit of a waste. Especially given how expensive these things tend to be. Go back, Shiki, I have good news. Yes, you know. See, Dramon has come back to Crooked. It's working hard to make a fishing rod. You can probably find it in the independence. I mean, shouldn't that be fishing hole? He doesn't make a fishing rod. Now, 20, think you're starting to look up. Okay, so you have any new info? Why, Bottomon? Why are you such a little douche? It is a guy who wastes that. Isn't anybody who wants to box? What's that mean? It means this Galmon. He wants to, you know, do boxing. It's like you completely skipped over Garudamon, who we can recruit now, which is really tough because we have to find an old loot. And there's freaking Hackmon in Lodge Volcano, who we need to get for Azumon to join. Your information order sucks. Makes no sense, bottom up. How how did they botch that so badly? The sender has been upgraded. I wasn't paying attention to the sender, so I'm not sure why there's a visual difference. Send delicious to do the game parade. 
But I don't care. <coughs> well, I do care slightly. The uh, you know, send her a little cheaper. Probably by like 50 bits. Because this game's outrageous with the prices. Upgrade builder. The warehouse is always the one that I give the least amount of attention to because, you know, while it's got to store stuff, I never run out of space with the warehouse ever. How much do you charge now, anyway? Still charging an arm and a leg. It's kind of weird that a lot of volcano is so expensive when you can just go to serve a desert and just, you know, go south two screens and you're there. That's kind of outrageous. Screw Probably a bad idea. But let's go see if we can get a hack mama. I mean, we're not full health, so maybe we'll have a chance. It's just not Hackmon that I'm worried about, it's the Bomb and Nanimon that surround me that I'm worried about. Because, you know, the developers are dicks, and like to, uh, you know, put these Digimon in areas where there's a lot of Digimon who will try to ambush you and absolutely destroy you because there's too many Digimon. Like, one on one is manageable. Well, two on one, I should say, I guess. Technically. But you know, when there's multiples, then you're in trouble. Unless you're like, out level them with your stats. It's weird, isn't it? It's like, yeah, it's Garudamon's territory, and here we are with you, just taking all these views. So I guess his territory is just that little spot over there. Rudiman's kind of an idiot. Now, if I recall, the medium on in Lock Volcano give a decent amount of money. But saying that, they are ultimate levels, so it's a bad fight then. Wait, we have the 47 minutes? Damn, where'd that time go? Well, it'll have to wait till the next part then, I guess. So, see you next time, viewers. See you next time.